okay so welcome to my videos in these videos i'll share to you guys the tutorial how to split the data by folders automatically using split folders library in python okay so actually this videos is uh will be short will be straightforward because we just need like a tree line of code to automatically split the data but since I haven't uploaded a new video for a long time, so I decided to just like make these videos for this channel. So yeah, let's just get into it. So first thing first, you guys can access this code by, I will, I will share the link in the description and uh, I will share the GitHub link for, for the uh, Colette, for the Jupyter Notebook. You can open uh, this, uh, the Python notebook in your Google Colab by clicking this button and it will automatically bring you guys to this uh, website to this Google Colab website so yeah uh, that's how you guys access the code or the Python notebook and let's just get right into the code okay so before we dive into the code uh, if there is someone ask me why we need to split the data actually in uh, machine learning for you guys information there is a technique called holdout validation or also known as the split data validation where we split uh, some portion of the data to train or to create the model and the rest of the data uh, will validating will be validating the model that we created by the training data that we already split before so yeah and actually if we use like a popular framework or like a big framework like tensorflow there is actually no need for we for us to uh, split data manually like this because we can just uh wrote the the in in the tensorflow api or the keras api that we want to split the data for example validation split 0 0.25 and it will automatically split the data but if you guys uh, uh, will not use tensorflow in you guys project and you guys need to split the data uh, so instead of doing that manually there is a better way by using the split folders uh library okay so let's just uh connect this google collab first okay let's wait for the this google collab to connect oh yeah the data that i will split is the data this image image data set that i scraped from the previous videos uh yeah this is the data uh i will i will share the videos in the in the description about how to scrape this uh, image data there is a cheetah lion and tiger so this will be an image classification project thing so uh, in this project i will have three classes which is cheetah lion and tiger and yeah this is the data set this is the folder the the main folder and this is the class folder and we will automatically uh, create uh, folders that already have uh, that split uh, to, to this data okay so first thing first we need to install the split folders library we use the pip install split folders uh, yep just wait and after that we need to import the split folders library with this code just run this cell right away and after that since we want to uh, save and uh, using the directory from our uh, drive I will mount uh, my drive first we can automatically mount our drive using this button but if you guys cannot automatically uh, automatically mount uh, your drive using this button you can just run this uh, cell so mount the uh, mount the uh, drive and if there is a pop-up like this just connect to google google drive and then uh, just wait a minute just okay just low and 
it is it will be done for a second okay my inter okay there it is so we can see there will be a drive folders or the drive directory here if we already successfully mount the drive and yeah this video is actually pretty straightforward we just need to uh, define or set our input folder that contain the data that we want to split uh, and in this case the directory will be the in content drive my drive image data set that mean in here in here and in this 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 folder and this one if we open this in if we open the in a drive this is the folder that we want to uh, what is it we want to split and here is the main folder so we will just like copy pat this directory and just yeah pass it and we will also define the output file so we want to in here I want to uh, put the split the data in this path okay in this drive my drive image data set split it just like define it anywhere you want I will in this case I will uh, set the directory here so let's just run this and this is actually the the, the the one only the one and only code that we need to split the data so the code is split folders dot ratio where the first argument will be the input file and the second argument will be the output file and the input and output file will be the path the path of the directory uh, like this okay and here is the seed this is the random seed if we want to uh, use the exact same uh, random uh, random ran random uh, random folders random split we can set the seed here and this is the ratio that we can set the, the ratio between the split the, sorry the training and the validation folder in this case uh, we will split the training uh, data for 75% or 0 0.75 and for the validation I uh, will split it by uh, for uh, 0 0.25 or 25 percent and let's just uh, set the group prefix by none and let's just like run this cell and that is that actually and done so this is what will happen if we successfully run this cell there will be a copying files with the total total of files that we have in here and yeah let's just see the result of this so there will be a wait a minute there will be a new directory or new folder where we already uh, set in here the content drive with the folder name is image data set splitted and there will be in here and we can see that there, there are two folders named train and file train for training and file for validation and there will be three class because yeah that's the, the class we have from previous folder yeah this is 75 person so there will be 37 and for the test there will be 50 minus 37 it will be 13 so yeah that's pretty much it that's how you uh, automatically split the data by folders so yeah once again this is not much but maybe this might be helpful for you guys so that's pretty much it if you guys have any question you can just like comment it below thank you so much bye